Hey, thanks for joining me for this video on the Web Data Grid. And here I'll show you how our exporter's been updated to allow you to serve up PDF and XPS documents. So here's my page, and I have a couple different things happening on the page. I've got my Web Data Grid. Behind the scenes, there's an instance of my Document Exporter class. And then I have a couple input controls here that allow me to direct and command what will happen. So I have the ability to decide whether or not I'd like to download just the viewable page on the grid or all of the data available within the grid. So if we go to like page six or something here, and I'll just download the data only on this page. And to start off, I'll just export it as a PDF. So when I click on that, the exporter does its work. And now I have my PDF generated. And you'll notice here, this is just the page that we were on, the Philo mix, and there's the Philo mix. So we can switch that up a little bit and you can say, well, we want all of the data in the grid and that will also generate a PDF for me and make it available straight away. There's all the data now available in the grid. So you have the ability to do PDF and also XPS. And there's all the data for the grid found in XPS format. Now without our exporter control, this might be quite a few lines of code to implement, but it's actually quite simple. So let's start off by taking a look at the markup. So here's my web page found in Visual Studio 2010, and I have the script manager on the page. I've got a checkbox here that'll allow me to decide whether or not I want to look at all the, all the data in the grid or just the single page, and then a radio button list that kind of powers whether or not I want PDF or XPS. My button here that'll initiate the export, and then a control here, the web document exporter. You can get this on your page by either dragging it from the toolbox or typing in the markup directly. And we are linking that to, programmatically, the grid here, and this is a web data grid that's bound up to the SQL data source in order to get its data. Now the only customization I've done to the web data grid is just to turn on paging. So before we take a look at the code, let's just take a look at this web document exporter again. You notice from the smart tag here, there's a couple items that you can set as defaults. You can give it a download name. The export mode by default is data in grid only, and the export mode is download and you can choose a custom implementation or also just to serve it directly to the browser. So for download name, we'll give it something unique based off of the date and time that the person is downloading the information and the export mode will be programmatically uh, powered by what's found in these input controls. So let's drop down to the source now and you can see how this is done. So I have two private properties that I've created. I have the data export mode and also file format. So data export mode will simply look at the checkbox to see if it's checked. If it's checked, then we're returning back the value from the enumeration of data export mode for data in grid. If it's not checked, then we'll say that we want all the data in the data source. Alternatively, for the file format, we'll either be requesting PDF or XPS documents, and this file format property here will look at the selected value of my radio button list and to see if uh, we have a PDF selected. If so, we'll return the enumeration value of PDF. Otherwise, we'll return the enumeration value of XPS. So creating these properties just keeps the code that we're working with the exporter really quite clean. So the exporter here, we have this variable name which maps to our document exporter. You can see web document exporter and the ID of exporter. So we're working with the exporter and we're saying the data export mode is set to whatever the value has been decided within this private property. So this is where we decide if we want all the data in the grid or just the data on the, the single page. For download name, you can choose to handle this a number of different ways. All I'm doing is calling it data and then looking at date time now to string and then stripping out any of the spaces in order to make a file name. It's not required that you put the extension on here. The exporter will handle putting the extension for you. Then the file format is decided by our property up here, so we'll decide whether or not we're looking at PDF or XPS. And then all you need to do in order to export the data out of the grid is just pass the instance of the grid into the export method, and everything else is handled for you. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.